Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Nice to have you back. And somebody asked me, what exactly does divisional charts tell us? Well, it's a very interesting question. So I thought we must discuss divisional charts. All right. So therefore, we are going to now discuss what exactly do you mean when you say, oh, this is a Navamsha, this is a Dashamsha, or Mm, this planet is exalted in my Rashi, it is debilitated in the Navamsha, or it is in my, debilitated in my Lagna, it is exalted in the Dashamsha chart. Okay? Mm. So, therefore, these are very crucial things and m many times people do this mistake, they will play plus minus with astrology. Okay? Plus minus means they will say, oh, Venus is exalted in my D1. It is debilitated in my D9. So exaltation, debilitation, you know, plus minus. One minus one is equal to zero. So that's it. Venus disappears from the horoscope, all right? So there are no problems because the debility is canceled and there's nothing good because the exaltation is also canceled, all right? It is not like that. If a planet is exalted in a particular divisional chart, it will give results in that area of your life. And if it is in that context, okay, and if it is debilitated in a particular divisional chart, it will also give the results in that context for that area of life. It doesn't nullify each other, okay. Many times people say Nietzsche uh, Bhanga or Raj Bhang Nietzsche Yoga or some yoga is there like that which says that if a planet is exalted in Rashi and debilitated in D9, then the exaltation is cancelled. No, 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 no. The classics don't say like that. We misinterpret the words of the classics. Okay. And it also doesn't say that a debilitated planet getting exalted in Navamsha, the, the debility is cancelled. It does not say like that. No classic says that. Okay. Somebody may read some wrong translations or somebody may do wrong translations and then they may think like that. But it is not like that. It is not. Uh, you see, it's like my guru used to give the example of salt and sugar together. Okay, so if there's a glass of water and you put one teaspoon sugar and then you mix it, and then you put one teaspoon of not one teaspoon, maybe one fourth <laughs> teaspoon of salt, and then you mix it. Now, what does what, what does it happen? The salt and the sugar cancels each other. Do they neutralize each other? No, they don't. They you will get the taste of the salt and the sugar simultaneously. It will be there. Okay. So therefore, we must judge these critical placements properly. Otherwise, now uh, most of the questions which I get in my mails are pertaining to these uh, certain areas like. Oh, my, <clears throat> uh, my uh, Jupiter is in this house. Then it goes to this sign, this house. You know. So from good, it's going to bad. From bad, it's going to good. Good, bad, good, bad. It's like, you know, uh, playing cricket. You know, one good shot, one bad shot. But that's not what astrology is. You know, it's not just a game of good and bad, right? All right, so therefore, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your divisional charts, you can always go to the website down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. <clears throat> so, what are divisional charts? So, what is the Lagna chart, first of all? Because it is also a chart. <laughs> it is the most important chart, of course. The Lagna chart will tell you what are the activities that you are focusing on in this life. <clears throat> what are the activities? Because the Lagna chart decides the Dasha, the Nshutri Dasha. Okay. And that will tell you what are the circumstances which I am surrounded with. Yes, the external circumstances and can also be internal. But you will see that, let me give you an example like this. You will see that there are, suppose there's a class and there are like you know, 50 students in the class. So all the 50 students, they are in that same class. They are learning from that same professor or that same teacher, the same subjects. Yes, that's like the Lagna chart. But why does everybody learn differently? 
they have a different pace somebody may be very good in learning somebody may be may not be able to understand yes why 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 does that happen some people are very sincere when they are in the first bench and writing making notes and some people are not interested in studying maybe they are sitting in the front benches but they are just using their mobiles or doing something else or maybe they are just gossiping somewhere or maybe sitting in the last bench and sleeping <laughs> why does that happen that is the answer is divisional charts okay everybody gets married in this world everybody has a career everybody is in the sometimes there are organizations companies which have you know like thousand employees but then why is every employee different that is what is the divisional chart okay so <clears throat> the divisional chart is like the story which is inside your brain they don't manifest externally they never manifest but you have that power or you have that much strength to use that and make things manifest externally through the lagna chart that is what is the divisional chart so for example if uh, you will see many many times people have uh, sun or mars in 10th house you will always see this or you will see the 10th lord is in the lagna or exalted or in trine so the lagnesh is in 10th or 11th or 10th lord in 11th 11th lord in 10th these are the best placements for growth in career but yet even after these placements the person is not having any growth neither is the person interested in any growth the person is uh, he or she is going to the office and just not working or they are just doing some business and they are not interested or they don't have the motivation to work why because externally they have all these big things but internally their inner programming is telling them don't work don't put effort don't do this don't do that ye mat karo wo mat karo ye acha nahi wo acha nahi yes that is what is the divisional chart that is what is the samsa chart d10 chart okay so now suppose a person has a great d10 chart okay so then what does this mean this means the inner programming the inner psyche is like no you should be focused you should do this you should do that whatever it is do what is required in your workplace or whatever in your business so then now suppose externally the lagna chart is not supporting that which means suppose the 10th house is not very good or the 10th lord is not well placed or the ascendant lord is not very good or sun mars these planets are not well placed then what happens externally there are a lot of struggles in life yes the person is struggling 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 but the person continues to struggle because the inner programming is yes i must struggle now if you have a great d1 a great lagna chart and a great d10 well then very good then you are also focused motivated inside and also great things are coming to you so therefore to know the extent to which the yogas in the lagna chart especially raj yogas and mahapurush yogas will manifest externally we must take help of the nabamsha and the dashamsha and the other divisional charts okay otherwise we will not be able to differentiate what is the difference because you know, one and half to two and half hour sometimes people who are born in that same place they will have the same horoscopes the same lagna chart yes but they will have totally different lives why because their inner programming is different their it's like the baggage that you carry from your past lives that is what is the divisional chart so if your baggage is good then whatever is there you know you will use properly and make as they say my guru used to say you know make the best use of a bad bargain then that is your mentality but if the lagna chart is great and your divisional charts are not that good then what happens you have great things in life wonderful things that people cannot even dream 
normal people cannot even dream and you waste every bit of it why because your inner programming says these are all useless you know i can do whatever i want now it will not happen that all your divisional charts uh, will be good will be perfect or all of them will be bad they will be terrible it will not be like this in fact it will not also be like this that one chart is like perfect or it is very good in, in fact within every divisional chart you will see there are good placements and there are difficult placements okay so then uh, as an astrologer it is uh, your duty to explain to the client or to the person or to the student that my dear sir my dear madam these are the areas which are impacting you externally which is giving you success which is giving you failure blah 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 all this is there in the lagna chart but why is this happening because your inner programming is like this yes your inner consciousness your inner psyche your inner self is resonating this way therefore you are not able to solve this problem therefore even if there are difficulties you are still happy you are able to carry on okay so therefore the inner programming is very important and that is why you will see uh, people who you tell one same thing but then there are five people who will accept it yes uh, some people who will never accept why yes that is because of the divisional charts what you are saying is not matching with their inner program that is why they don't like you or they, they hate you or they are just least interested in listening to you so the inner psyche is very important it is the combined uh, the divisional charts are like the uh, it's like the mental karma okay suppose your seventh house is great in the lagna chart venus is great seventh lord is great your upapada is great okay the arudha of the seventh house a7 is great well then you get a very nice partner maybe <laughs> but then if, you, if if these planets are not properly placed in the navamsha then what happens yeah my partner is good he or she is very handsome or very attractive or very wealthy very nice very intelligent very flamboyant very good very forgiving but so what kya badi baat hai to so what what's the big deal they are like that but i am not like that so i can't stay with them yes that's what the d9 is so therefore whenever you are uh, judging uh, horoscope compatibility you must 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 check the navamsha of that person with whom you are matching your horoscope for marriage you must do that match means not your navamsha and that person's navamsha you should uh, and your and that person's navamsha i'm not saying navamsha matching okay i'm not saying that what i'm saying is you have to match their that that person's lagna and navamsha you have to match both of them to what extent is harmony there because then you know where the problem will come from okay then you know okay when i if i plan to go and marry this person then these are the challenges which i can face is it coming from the lagna chart or is it coming from the navamsha chart then you know perfectly you exactly know what are the problems then nobody has to tell you that oh actually you know it is like this maybe it's like that if you, if you know that then you can exactly pinpoint out yes because the d9 if if the inner programming is only corrupt imagine there is a virus inside then no matter what you do for that person the person will never be happy the person will always find faults with you always criticize you always denigrate you always downgrade you always insult you has it ever happened that you have tried anything and everything possible to do something good for somebody and then even then that person doesn't value you raise your hands if it has happened yes it has happened with me i know you are watching this video it has happened with you and with everybody or maybe you have become like that for somebody it could also happen it could happen that somebody has done so much for you but then you don't value that person yes all right so therefore that's like the inner it's like the software and 
the lagna chart is like the hardware okay same hardware different software <laughs> you cannot change much in the hardware it's very difficult but you can change the software okay by doing spiritual practices and by improving your consciousness by reading books like the bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam you can definitely change your inner programming you can improve your inner consciousness and by that you will be able to make the best use of a bad bargain okay if your lagna chart is not good then you can still because the karma which is there because you cannot change karma it's not possible that you do uh, some fancy remedies and karma changes it doesn't work like that. but yes when you do remedies at a spiritual level they can always 100% improve your consciousness okay and by that you can make the best 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 use of the worst 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 or the worst bargain okay and by that you can realize that whatever i have in my life yes this is my limitation externally but internally i can be in sync with myself and god because of which i do not feel empty i do not feel that i lack something in life okay thank you very much and if you are new then please subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation you could go down to my website in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him